I've got my ice cream beauty box for the month of May. So if you want to see what I've got inside and how it looks on, stay tuned. Hi and welcome to our channel. My name is Tracy. I got Bandit sitting here next to me. You might be able to see him because I have the camera this way. And Chloe is just off kind of hanging out. I'm going to try to get her into a couple videos after this. But if you're new, welcome. Thanks so much for checking us out. And if you're returning, thank you so much for being a part of our YouTube family. So today I have the May Ice Cream Beauty Box. And I did go ahead and take all the little things out so you guys can get a nice little sneak peek of the box. And this is a $25 box. Prices haven't gone up. There is no shipping. They do have a bag with three items. That is $12.50 plus shipping. So what is in the May box? So it says Sunday mornings. The palette is by DD Signatures. This is a cruelty free brand. It's an indie company. And this is their ultimate cappuccino eye palette. But I remember when they spoiled this, this was not all brown. So I was pretty excited. You have the bottom here, which is a gorgeous one, is crushed. So I will let them know. See, a little bit got me yellow, but gorgeous, gorgeous palette, and it's a $34 value. Next by Gerard Cosmetics is the BB Plus Illumination Facial Cream, and this is in Grace, but I do own this in a similar color, um, Bridget. So... I thought, you know, I don't probably need to, so I'm going to show you the Bridget. The Grace looks like it's a similar gold. This is more of a rose gold. All right. So there it is, kind of worked in. And that's a $36 value. Also by Gerard Cosmetics is their Color Your Smile. And this is a lippy in the shade Salmon does have a little mirror right there. Here is the color. It's a very corally color. It does appear to be a gloss. By Appeal is a gel liner next level in the shade. And this next level is the shade. Well, here's how this looks. Oh, the Lippy by Gerard Cosmetics is... 24. Next level is the shade of this, and this is a $23 value. And then we have a single powder. This is a loose duochrome by Beauty Moon Cosmetics. It's a $22 value. It's a duochrome. It goes from a light purple to a very light blue. Let's check that out. It's a nice light topper. All right, so let's make a little magic with the eyeshadow palette. So I will start, actually, I'm going to start with this and put a little bit of that on my cheeks. It's a beautiful highlighter. And a little bit is going to go a long way with this. This would also be lovely right under the brow bone. Now I have already started off with just some eyeliner on my eyes. I am going to use a little bit of this Gerard Cosmetics um, eye primer. And with this also, a little bit goes a long way. So you only need a tiny little dab. And 
And then I like to just kind of use a brush to get that in. And that's going to give you just an all over color for your eyes. So I'm going to start off with this brown right here called hot chocolate. And I'm going to put that in here. All right, and next I'm going to take a fluffier brush and I'm going to go in with this French vanilla right here and I'm going to put that right there. And then I think I want to take this yellow here called hazelnut and put that like center. Now I'm going to take this latte right here and I'm going to go in right there. Next, I'm going to take this Americano and I'm going to come right there. Then I'm going to take this Caramel French Toast, that's the one that's all crushed up, and I'm going to come right out here. Then I'm going to take this brush and do some blending. And I'm going to take this duochrome single and a nice fluffy brush. I'm going to come right up in here. And for under the eye, I'm going to take this green one in leafy tea. I'm just going to come lightly under the eye. And I'm going to finish off the eyes with this Rise Above Mascara from Floss. I got it in Birch Box. And here is that wand. And there's just one coat. Right, so there's two coats on this eye and one on this one. Next, we have this gloss. I feel like these are kind of odd colors to go together, and I don't use a lot of lip liner, so I wanted to set that aside for maybe somebody else who could get more use out of it than me. All right, so there it is. And there is my final look using this Ultimate Cappuccino Palette. So tell me your thoughts. What do you think? I think this is a lovely palette. I'm really bummed at the shade that I like am most drawn to in there, because you know I love those fun shades, is Crushed. I will let them know. Um, even if I just got a replacement for that one color, if they do singles, I would be psyched. Because the rest of the palette's fine. It's just that one gorgeous blue green one that cinnamon french toast all right well let me know your thoughts on my final look and please consider hitting that like subscribe and notification bell and hopefully i'll see you soon